Hello and welcome to another episode of How Is This My Life? I think I'm gonna be in a lot of pain tomorrow. I've worn a high neck top because I get panic rashes. Guess who? <laughs> and for whatever reason, I've somehow booked the job. I love events like that. I'm actually really nervous. I've never done anything like this before. So this is my Pixar character. What's the phrase that I always use that Lewis says is toxic? I feel like I'm living a double life at the moment. Lighting. Oh, okay. So so I did bring some up breathing your joy. exercises outside. <laughs> okay. Guys, I did my first interview and I didn't die. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Today we are heading to the Cruise factory. I do just worry that sometimes I'm spreading myself a little bit thin. Oh my god. Thank you very much. Should we do some carpool karaoke? Why not? You have a Pixar face. Oh my god, guys. So you know I said to you last week that there was a potential that I would book a presenting job and that's why I went to the screening. Well, I have found out that I do have the presenting job tomorrow. I get to interview. I've got two interviews tomorrow. One of them is with the creative director of Disney's Inside Out 2. And then the second one is with Amy Poehler, who is, you all know her, she is an incredible Hollywood actress. She was the mum in Mean Girls. She is in Baby Mama, which is one of my favourite films ever. I honestly can't believe it. So I've had to come up with a creative concept. I've only got five minutes with both interviews, so I'm planning what I'm going to ask, what I'm going to say, how I'm going to make it fun and exciting. And they sit there in one room and there's going to be, I don't know, maybe like 20 people going in and out asking them different questions. So I don't want to ask them things that they're going to just get bored of answering. I've come up with an idea in the theme of Inside Out. And basically, I have turned myself into a Pixar character and I'm going to ask them to guess what emotion the Disney Pixar character is from the nine emotions that are in the film. So in the film, we are introduced to the emotion ennui, which is basically boredom. You know when a teenager's like, I'm fine, don't talk to me, da 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 So this would be my ennui. So I'm gonna basically ask them if, because of the film, they feel more in tune with their own emotions and the emotions of others. And I'm gonna basically show them this, ask them to guess the emotion, and then show them the answer on the back. So I have a laminator. I've created all of these images. I need to laminate them up now and just practice what I'm gonna say. I'm actually really nervous. I've never done anything like this before. And I said yes to the opportunity because I was like, if I don't say yes, how am I ever gonna learn and grow and evolve? Like you have to do the things that scare you. And I just believe that imposter syndrome never goes away because you should always be leveling up and always be pushing yourself past that boundary because that's how you grow and evolve and get better. It might be an absolute train wreck tomorrow, but if I just keep putting things off because I don't feel ready, then I never will be ready. Like how do you learn without doing? So I'm throwing myself in at the deep end and I'm very very, very nervous. I also know what I'm wearing tomorrow. I'm going to wear a bow in my hair. So all of the images that I've created to make me look like a Pixar character have a bow in. I'm so excited. Right, let me go laminate these and then I'll show you what they look like when they're finished. It's going through the laminator. Oh my god, I hope this works. Wait for it. Wait for it. This little machine is so good. It comes with a hole punch and a little guillotine. So if I want to trim the edges of the lamination, um, I have the option to do that. Wait for it. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, that's so cool. Right, excuse the fact that I'm covered in fake tan with a hair mask in. I'm getting prepared for tomorrow. I don't think I fully explained what I'm actually doing tomorrow. So the new film Inside Out 2 is coming out. You may have seen the first one. This is the sequel and it is just as iconic. Last Tuesday, I was invited to go and watch a 35 minute snippet of the film. It's not out yet. I can't actually say anything until 14th of June. So you won't be seeing this until after then. But basically I watched the snippet and then I pitched a concept idea for a junket interview, which is basically when the cast and crew are sat in a room and the interviewers get five minutes and they're just on rotation whilst they're sat in one room and they do not move and for whatever reason I've somehow booked the job I've never done a presenting job in my whole entire life it's for Disney it's gonna be on camera I get to meet Amy Poller who is the mum from Mean Girls I just I'm a little bit nervous so I've gone above and beyond to kind of prep and plan so that I feel secure in what I'm gonna say and what I'm gonna do I've got an interview with the creative director and producer in one room and then the interview with Amy in another and the questions that I'm asking are slightly different in both but one thing that I'm doing in both is the game so this is my Pixar character with joy on the back this is anger I'm not going to show you them all actually because you'll see it in the interview in, in a moment but how cute. I'm really excited, like really excited. I do feel those butterflies of nerves but I'm trying to tell myself that that is just the same feeling that you get when you're excited anyway so I need to just be like let's go. Good morning team, today is the day that I am interviewing Amy Poehler for Disney UK, like what the hell? I have got ready this morning, gone on my morning walk, got ready, everything is packed in my bag and I'm heading into London now. It's actually at a hotel, so I think they turn the hotel rooms into like a mini studio. So I've got my cue cards, I've got my game and I'm just literally gonna sit on the train and just go through it tirelessly to make sure that I feel confident and ready. And I need to remember to talk slowly because I think I talk way too fast all the time, especially on here. So I need to just slow it down. I've worn a high neck top because I get panic rashes. So hopefully they won't see. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna head into London 
I'll show you around. I know that my friend Austin and Lewis are also there today, so I'm really excited to see them and I think that will ease my nerves a little bit. Okay, so I have arrived at the hotel. We are just waiting in here. There we are. Hi, Lewis. Hi, um, oh, yeah, darling. Are you excited for today? <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous. It was amazing. Here we have the characters. So we've got anger, we've got envy, we've got ennui, we've got anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I love that his hat says, I'm sensitive. Because it's true. I'm sad now. I could cry. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Cool. Awesome. That's great. Oh, you'll, you'll Whoa. Not get into oh, okay, that. never mind. You didn't see that. You didn't see anything. You didn't see it, uh, yeah. Pay no attention to the drawing that you see. Okay. Now, I'm going to be really honest. This is my first ever junket. I've never done it in two months. Oh, oh wow. really? What emotion are you, you feeling right one. now? Yeah. yeah. Anxiety, fear. Oh, no, okay. No, it's all, all good. Above. Okay. Just relax. It's Tell joy. her it's okay. Yep, okay. yep. Tell her to breathe. Okay. I did Bring some breathing exercises outside. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. So my first question for you is, obviously working on a project of this scale, or maybe even just being in interviews like this, do yeah. you ever feel nerves or anxiety take over your mind? No. Nope. Never, never. Never. Not once. <laughs> oh. Like every, no. Every We're... minute of every day, yes. yes. Okay, because my question was going to be, uh, what tips do you have for anyone else who feels those emotions? Mm. I guess my thought was soldier through because when you do it the second time and you realize I didn't die, yeah. it's a little easier. And then the third time you're like, oh, okay, I kind of know what I'm doing. So I think just power through. Yeah, you're going to be okay. Uh, it's a lot of what we put in the film of like, what's going on right right now in this moment. Here's know? another one that I, I use is sometimes I'm like, uh, I'm nervous and I go like, this might be the last time I get to do this. Oh, so cool. really taking time to just be grateful that I have it. Yeah, sometimes I connect it also the other way too. Like, uh, uh, what would my younger self? Oh yeah, that's good. Feel that I would get this opportunity to, to like make this movie, for Kelsey's instance. Kelsey's being interviewed. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. a movie he just directed. Yeah, what? That, it's so what yeah. it does. It 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 makes a joy come up to the console and drive in that moment. Yeah. No, I feel like you've just given me life advice for this moment, so thank <laughs> yeah. you for that. Yeah, we learned a lot working on this movie. <laughs> and obviously in this film we see Riley transitioning into a teenager yeah. with all of the complex emotions that come with that. Yeah. And I think that's going to be invaluable for adolescents navigating that journey. Yeah. But do you also think it will be educational for parents supporting them on this? Oh, 100%, yes. Uh, Joy's our main character. Mm -hmm. And I really think of uh, Joy as a parent. If you really sure. look at what she's doing uh, in the first film, what she's doing in this film, uh, she has this kind of parental, like she's trying to take care of Riley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, she even calls her our girl. Mm -hmm. So there's this kind of like feeling that she's like a, a parent mm -hmm. and trying to best take care of her. And so I, I would always look at uh, Anxiety and Joy, who are kind of the leads of this film, as two parents that are arguing how to best take care of their kid. And they're both doing it from a place of love, but the way they do it is where they butt heads. Yeah. 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 I mean, first and foremost, we hope people will enjoy it because it's supposed to be funny. It has a lot of really relatable moments where you're like, oh, yeah, I've totally done that. <laughs> uh, so hopefully that's the primary reason you want to come. But then, yeah, it does. It, we've been very flattered by the first one and how many people have said, I totally think differently about how I. Yeah. raise my kids now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, for my final question, I've actually created a bit of a game for you. Ooh, okay. okay. So I now I'm anxious. <laughs> no, I describe myself as an empath. I feel like I embody the emotions of those around me. Oh. Yes. And I'm sure working on something like this, you probably feel so in tune with your own emotions, but also those of others. Uh -huh. So I fulfilled my lifelong goal of putting myself in a Pixar movie. Oh, and really? And I edited myself as a Pixar character, okay. embodying each of the nine characters in the film. Oh. Okay, cool. And it's Let's your yeah. job to guess which one is which. Which okay. character? Okay. 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 Uh, you were looking joy. really happy. Your joy. Yeah. 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 All right. All anger, right. Anger. Anger. That is definitely anger. Yeah. 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 Oh, embarrassment. Uh, oh, that look looks now. like uh, 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 was that on Wii? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, oh look yeah. like you're pretty disgusted. Is it disgusting? Could be, or envy? it could be envy. Envy. Yeah, yeah envy. 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 That's yeah, disgust. disgust the snoring. That one's <laughs> disgust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like you're very anxious. anxious yeah. Is this the way you looked right before you walked this in here? This is me outside. Yeah, this is me outside today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's fear. Uh huh. That's fear. Yeah, and nice. lastly, nice. Sadness. Aww. And that's because the interview is over. Oh, so thank no. you so well, much that. for your time. Nice. It's lovely to meet you both. <laughs> thank you nice so to meet much. You. Guys, I did my first interview and I didn't die. It went really well. How did yours go? <sighs> Panic attack. Panic attack. <laughs> Me changing. Also, what? I need to start reading the questions before. Did you, just, <laughs> you didn't read them before you went so, in. 
So I often, 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 why have I often three times? <laughs> Or unless I'm fiddling, I'm just typing. Something. Oh my gosh, yeah, probably. That's probably what's going on. Yeah, I'm we surprised it doesn't say like a big batty cow. Big batty, yeah. We live and we learn. We do. Yeah. We do. Kind of. You look so handsome. I do. Liar. Well, I'm here with the iconic Amy Polar. Thank you so much, Amy. I actually need to be honest. Mm. I've got anxiety and fear okay. taking over my mind right now. Okay. And so to anyone else who suffers with nerves, do you have any tips on how to combat that? Well, there's a bunch of ways to combat it. You can move your body and shake around and just kind of like get into your body. You can breathe, but you, you're doing a very good job. I would never know that you were anxious. You. Well, I want Joy to take back over. And obviously you play Joy in the film. Yeah. Whenever for you, for example, when maybe envy or anger or mm. sadness takes over, do you have any tips on how you get joy to come back with control. You know, one of the things I've learned in this film has really helped me is that the less you push, the better. You know, in the first film, Joy has to learn that you need to make some room for sadness. It's mm -hmm. okay to kind of wait there with sadness and feel your feelings. And I think the bigger point of the film is that these emotions come and go, and the more we resist them, the stronger they get. Mm -hmm. So I know this sounds counterintuitive, but I feel like if I want to change my emotion, I usually try to feel it first. And in this film, Joy realizes as you get older, you have to make room for Joy, make it a priority. Mm. Try to find room for it so it can come into your life. That was actually one of my favorite lines from the snippet I've seen. Joy says to Sadness, wherever I go, you go. You go, I know, and they're I think the that's best so duo. Beautiful. I know, and they hold hands, and they go down together. Joy has learned just yeah. a tiny bit from the last time we've seen her. <laughs> I actually have a game for you. Okay, great. So I've turned myself into a Pixar character. You already look like a Pixar character. Thank you. <laughs> and um, it's your job to guess which of the nine characters has taken over my mind in these images. Okay, fantastic. So it's gonna be quick fire. Okay? Wow, and so these are, whoa, you really have changed yourself into a Pixar character. I have, it's okay. my lifelong dream, so okay, great. I'm fulfilling it now, okay. Incredible. Okay, wow, I see joy. Mm -hmm. Okay, joy, Good. okay, anger. Yeah, the arms crossed is a real giveaway. <laughs> Ooh, um, embarrassment. I see the cheeks. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Um, that one looks like maybe um, mm, ennui. Yes. yes. You don't care. Ooh. Um, envy. Look at those mm -hmm. eyes. The green, green eyes. Green with envy. Disgust, baby. What are we even doing here? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, this woman's amazing. You should animate her. Um, ooh, fee, uh, fee, uh, anxiety, yeah. of course. Anxiety. What am I going to do? Anxiety turns into fear. Yeah. Oh, no. We are totally screwed. Sadness. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her little nose. And that is how I'm feeling now because it's the end of the interview. Oh, thank you. That was really good. That was thank a whole you. journey we went through together. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And honestly, loved the snippet that I've seen and I can't wait to watch the full movie. Oh, thank you so much. Amazing. Really nice. Hello, my loves. I feel like I'm living a double life at the moment. So I went straight from this incredible experience where I was in front of a film crew and lights, camera action, just dripping in nerves. It was terrifying. I feel like the first interview went better than the second because before the first interview I was reading over my cards making sure that I knew everything back to front and then in the break in between I relaxed a little bit too much and I don't think I should have done. I think I should have carried on going over my lines so I felt super confident going to the Amy interview. But I wonder if you can tell that I was more nervous in the second one than the first. Don't know. Anyway, so I went straight from there and I went to a restaurant called Farmer J, which I didn't film. I found it quite hard to film by myself when I'm out and about. I get a bit shy. Um, but it's beautiful. It was such a yummy restaurant. It had like all of these health food salads, really yummy cakes. I actually got the vegan chocolate banana bread muffin, which was amazing and an oat milk latte and some yummy food sat there set up and did some work and then headed straight to an industrial kitchen now this is for an event with cruise that is happening in july and we're collaborating with a supper club series company called muir tonight was basically all about tasting some of the canapé offerings that they have scheduled for us along with pairing them with cruise cocktails and i cannot even explain the flavor combinations or the flavor explosions of this food. So the plan is it's literally in an industrial kitchen and we're gonna put a trestle table and make it really beautiful with a simple yet effective tablescape and invite lots of foodie creators to come down into this kitchen environment 
enjoy some delicious food paired with Carew's, get some really cool pictures with like an industrial kitchen behind and the juxtaposition between like fine dining but also like rustic kitchen. Really looking forward to it. And this is something that if it goes down well with creators, we may potentially open up to um, our customers and client base as well for Carew's, which would be really, really cool. So spend the evening there. I'm, I'm finding it quite hard to juggle the content creation side of things, working alongside like a full-time startup brand. And I love it. And I love that I get to wear multiple hats and juggle all of these things. I do just worry that sometimes I'm spreading myself a little bit thin. And if I dedicated my time to one thing, then maybe it would be easy to manage and also move at a faster pace if that makes sense but I'm not ready to give anything up yet if anything I'm taking on more <laughs> it should definitely be considered unreviewed prior to saying yes I'm very tired I now have to go and get ready because it is quarter to ten I am up in London again tomorrow for about 9am because I have a campaign with Virgin Active to promote and share some of the really cool offerings that they have within their clubs. They are now offering things like calisthenics classes and reformer pilates, which I'm really excited about. So I'm there tomorrow filming content with them. I'm going to my bed. I'm going to scrub my face, slick back my hair, put on my pyjamas. Tomorrow we go again. Hello, good morning. I have a very exciting day today. I'm traveling to the Fulham Virgin Active, which I've never been to before. It's just had a very lovely refurb and heading down to check out the facilities and classes that they have on offer. So I'm going to get on the train now, have a little morning out. I think we're trying two classes and I think there's some kind of lunch involved. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go and check it out and um, update you in a little bit. Let's go. <music> like that that was so much fun I feel like I've not been to a fitness event in such a long time because I'm not really a fitness creator anymore but it was really nice there's only five of us so they offer something called calisthenics which is basically utilizing your own body weight so to be fair a squat or a press up is technically a callus oh sorry is technically a calisthenics exercise but they had us on the rings they had us um trying to do l sits they had us doing mobility drills which is a it was a lot of fun and when they were like oh yeah we're finished I was like wow that um a nice little like 10 15 minute teaser class it was literally 35 minutes and it just flew by uh, the gym is very impressive as well like it's massive it was so clean and then we had an explore of the gym the tennis courts and all of the facilities and then we did a reformer pilates class which I absolutely loved now I love reformer the studios that I go to get booked up so quickly because there's only like six to eight beds in these boutique studios at the virgin active there is 21 beds and all of the staff are trained to constantly give cues and have eyes on everyone so even though there's slightly more of you in the class it's still like a really personalized experience and I basically have to sit and edit my content now for approval so I've got to create three stories in a reel out of the footage that I've got basically to showcase what what they have on offer so I think I'm going to talk about my fitness journey and how when I started I thought I just needed to lift weights I needed to restrict my food and all of these things when actually the way I move my body now is such an eclectic mix and I love it and then I'm going to have an early night because we we have another busy day tomorrow so I'm gonna love you and leave you whilst I hustle away and um, I think I'm gonna be in a lot of pain tomorrow hello and welcome to another episode of how is this my life today I have two very exciting events the first one I'm going to a lunch with apple which I cannot wait for it's basically an incredible chef creating plant-based dishes for us to try and enjoy and capture on our iPhone so I've been loaned a phone by apple for the last six to nine months I can't remember when it was just to basically speak and shout about the incredible features the incredible camera and everything that I use on it on a daily basis so as a creator we literally live on our phones capturing content editing content and the 
the tech with Apple will make that so easy and so fantastic. Today is like a shot on iPhone event where we not only get to enjoy delicious food with other creators, I also get to learn how to capture food content in the best way possible. And I started as a food page and I wanna bring that recipe content back. So the fact that they're gonna be showing us how best to capture it on an iPhone is really exciting. And then I am heading to the Ministry, which is a venue that is connected to the Ministry of Sound where we've hosted dry disco events before. And my co-founder Millie has a Sober Girl Society event where we're serving Carew's welcome cocktails. So I go straight from Apple to a Carew's event. Like I said, I feel like I'm living a double life at the moment between creator and brand owner. So let's go. Sober Girl Society event and look who I've found. <gasps> Here they are. Oh my god, this venue is so cool. We have the bar area where we're going to be serving Carews for the evening. We're going to be serving drift with lemonade and a little wedge of citrus fruits. and I've just got home. The event with Sober Girl Society was gorgeous. So majority of people came by themselves. I was serving a welcome cocktail for them to enjoy. Then they kind of had some organized fun that Millie had planned, which was really, really cute. I left just before the event finished. And then the dinner with Apple was insane. So they've got this event space that is literally like a bougie, New York apartment. It's absolutely stunning. It's got views of Battersea Power Station and the river and it's absolutely stunning. And then Kirk, who won the Great British Menu, served up this incredible five course meal. And the dessert was actually the one that he made and won with the Great British Menu. And he basically combined an ingredient from each continent. The theme was the Olympics. And he combined an ingredient from each continent that competes at the Olympics. And there was cacao, pepper, coconut macadamia all in this dessert that was just absolutely delicious and we got to spend time with him and his team and it was just fascinating even the people they had as a guest at this lunch was fascinating and I was picking everyone's brains and I was like I really shouldn't be here this is the most <laughs> insane thing like what and they taught us how to use the iPhone 15 Pro Max so this is a phone that I've been using se since September a phone that I know and love all of the content of the Apple event was actually filmed on my iPhone so when it said shot by iPhone everything was filmed just on this bad boy. It makes me feel like I should film everything on this rather than the camera, to be honest, because the content is just next level. There was a photographer there talking us through everything. And even she shoots on an iPhone for some of her clients because the quality is just insane. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. I feel a little bit run down, but we don't stop. We don't quit. What's the phrase that I always use that Lewis says is toxic? No pressure, no diamonds. So I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, hopefully try and get in a little eight hours, I think. Speak to you in a bit. Hello and good morning. Lewis and I are in the car because Hello. today we are heading to the Carew's factory. It's quite an interesting experience going to the lab and it's something that I never filmed before we launched because I think I was so nervous with the development of Carew's that I didn't film nearly as much as I should have done because I was nervous that like, it didn't feel real and I didn't want to jinx it. Whereas now we're out in the open, I feel like this kind of stuff is meaningful to document because when you're starting a business and, and you're in its infancy, like things are going wrong all the time. I feel like I'm just constantly putting out fires. I feel like showing this side of things is helpful too. So let's go.
<laughs> and up on this one. Um, I love this so much. I know. almost like not savory but it's not super super sweet <laughs> i wonder if maybe we could take down the lemon and lime slightly and increase the ginger Seven. And we have to keep the solvent level the same because of the ABV, right? Yes, yeah, that's what it's called. Right, we are back in the car on the way home. That was a really, really cool experience, wasn't it? Very cool. You didn't come to the tastings before, did you? I did not. Oh, shame. I actually went with my brother and my uncle, because my uncle's like a big drinker, and I was like, if he likes this product, then anyone will. And that was a really fun experience. But it is such a science, and just changing things by such a nuanced amount can change the entire mouthfeel, complexity, flavour profile, and also the notes of what comes through, which I find really, really fascinating. We've got some bottles that were pasteurised and ready to go with us, so basically we put all of our drinks in a pasteurization bath to kill the bacteria they're all natural extracts so we'll take them back with us and then we're going to do a tasting day so we've we've narrowed it down to our two favorites i think i know in our hearts what's our favorite right yes but we kind of know what our favorite is but i think we just want some external opinions between the two i'm proud of it and it was a, a really cool experience i just love that side of the process um, nice. yeah esme's really great so we're gonna go home now and i will speak to you in a little while should we do some carpool karaoke why not? Why not? Hello, we are home. It's weird you being in my office. Hmm? It's weird you being in my office. Handsome little fucker, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Right team, that brings us to the end of the vlog. We brought the two variations home to do further testing with friends and family to get their feedback. So it's a new and improved recipe, which is so exciting. But I'm gonna leave the vlog there actually because it's Friday afternoon now, very, very tired. And I'm gonna wind down for the weekend, completely switch off. So sending you all the love in the world and I will see you next week with another video. Speak soon.